So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, this is a live stream on um, Digital Thursday and I'm playing on my UG um, tablet, drawing tablet. I've scanned in an image from Daydreams from Hannah Carlson um, and I'm actually working in Coral Painter Essentials 5 and basically this is a touch screen that you can draw with in a pen and all the brains in the laptop so you down you buy coral paint uh, essentials in your laptop you scan in with your printer in your laptop you attach this particular um, um, tablet to your laptop and then basically whatever you can see on the screen is here on your laptop or your computer and I've been using this um, I've used this a couple of times but I used it yesterday to do a start an actual sketch a drawing in oils and I love the fact you can draw in oils and then you can put pencil on oils you can do lots of things you can't do in reality so what I wanted to show is how to color using essentials um, I love art rage but I thought I'd have a go with this uh, coral painter I'd love Coral Painter 17, but it's just out of my price range. So this one is a kind of a, a, a scaled down version, but you still got some quite good things in it. Um, I was going to do a layer, but I decided I don't really do layers. So um, I think layers is cheating in a way, a little bit. Um, but I just feel that I don't want to do layers. So I'm actually going to go to windows and you can put lots of things on your tool tool section if you want on your toolbar I'm going to get rid of the uh, photo painter and I'm also going to get rid of the layers and I want rid of photo painting so I like just having um, the tools down that side so we've got a paintbrush a dropper a bucket paint, text, eraser, um, crop. Uh, this one is a rectangle section, um, rubber stamp, I haven't played with these yet, mirror painting and then the handy tap and you can move this ab and it goes blue, pale, you can move this about. Um, there's enlarge and reduce and then this one, if you tap this one up here, you get um, in, you get a thing that you can rotate, and remember what I always say about rotating, so your paint your page is comfortable for you to use. Um, and then there's paper down at the bottom, but I'm just colouring in, so I just want my colour wheel, which always comes up here. If you're right-handed, it does say if you're left or right-handed, to you can change them, but left-handed, all these tools go to this side. Well, actually, they're handier for me at this side. So this is set for a right-handed person. If you were left, if you were right-handed, I'd set it for the left hand because all your buttons are, are comfortable for you. So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream recorded for Ustream.tv and also YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. I've scanned in this image um, from a book because I can't normally colour too much so this is an easy way to do it. Um, so I've selected a blender um, with a wet oily blender. I think I might go back to artist, I'm going to go to, to artist brush and the sergeant brush. Um, And I think I'm going to go into oils. Now this is my brush selector, sorry. Yes, it, I'm just the, the Egypt this morning. Um, <laughs> right, so so I've selected the bucket. And I'm going to enlarge 
and I've got quite a dark misty blue. Whoopsie, I'll show you what happens to it normally. So this is the bucket um, and just by magic it's actually left the line drawing on it and it's coloured the background in. So what I need to do now is it's missed some little pieces because it's not that clever. If you make a circle and you tap the bucket inside the circle because it's a complete shape will be coloured. If you tap the outside it will be coloured. So everything that has a complete shape has been left but everything where it touches it's not. So what we need to do and this is a little bucket and I don't know if you can see the little bucket there's like a drip and if you've got a small space you you not particularly need the bucket inside but you need that drip so if you can get that little drip I'm just reading why that's, uh, that's and tap what that's going to do no I, I didn't want that so I can tap back and I love the fact you can just hit the back button and any mistake is instantly rectified um, so I think that's and it's going to take a little bit of time it's not it's not a cheats way it's a quicker way but it's not really, and that's the wrong thing I think to to take off we've got that one I'm not going to go into there with this I believe that I can go in there with a brush in a minute I'm going to go in there with a brush I think um, touch the hand tool and we can move that here that's better now now I can go back to the bucket and tap yep it doesn't like it so I'll, I'll draw it in a bit later it's a bit too blurred is that so again hand and I would think looking at it um, we've got a little bit of filling in to do No, it depends where you want to, how far you want to take this. I'm just going to kind of just see if I can play a little bit with it. I'll take that. If you find you don't like something, you just tap it and get rid of it. Um, just going to move this up a little bit and have a look what's going on under here. So we're doing quite well under here. Um, again, got to remember to tap the, the bucket again. And it takes it back to the colour, so that's quite nice. And we're just... Oh, well, that would be the bunny, wouldn't it? So actually, I'm going to take that off. Because the bunny's actually sitting there, I think. And under here is doing quite well. I haven't learnt to save the colour, um, so I really need to do whatever I need to do with this colour straight away. So I'm going to go up to the top of here and see what we've missed. So again, I've got to now tap the bucket and then tap these colours in. So this is really good for backgrounds because it's something that I don't normally do. just tap a little bit in there. Some of these I want to leave but I think some will be quite fun to fill in. So again just a bit of a tap. So if you weren't um, didn't want to particularly spend hours and hours on a colour page this is a, a good way to just get yourself um, and it, it's just the background 
it's nothing too drastic I just want to get some blue behind here and so that's blue that's blue that's blue that's blue sometimes you just gotta have a bit of a think and that's gonna make that look quite nice And if you're not sure, you can just have a bit of a down there that's got to be blue oops not that one the nicest thing is you can tap back straight away tap the hand and go back over here and then we'll see what's happening hit the bucket again so it's fairly simple um, again I'm not actually sure if it's the right blue I didn't actually think about that <laughs> um, and it's got to be quite a precise tap. That's going to give you some quite nice. Now, is that the bunny? No, it isn't. I don't think that's not the bunny. So we'll come up, pan out, and have a quick look and see if there's anything else. How far do we want to take this background? Um, And I think that's about as far as I want to take it really. And we've got to go in here. Because this is gonna it's just gonna be so much easier. Now you could have drawn it in if you wanted, and normally I would have done that, but I think I'm getting older and a bit wiser. Um and again, I actually quite like the fact that it's it's breaking up this. So if it's a very tiny space, then you need um, sometimes you just got to have a look at what you're doing. So we'll have a look at that. I quite like that idea. I like the fact that the, the blue is everywhere. Um, Again, I didn't really check. Now you can go in between all these if you wanted to. I'm not sure if I want to. I think I might do actually. I think that might look. Oops, sorry, a little bit blurry. Um, I want to give it that kind of midnighty effect if I can. And. I think I'm going to finish that off there. Take that off because I don't like that. So we've got the turnip and the other turnip there. Again, just go in there. Oops, apologies for the jumpiness of it. And again, tap the bucket. Got to remember to tap the bucket because nothing will help. Uh, nothing will work otherwise and then we're going to go in there and define that toad still oops so you've got to be a little bit precise with this otherwise it's not happy it's a definite a definite tap that's what you need and actually i'm going to take that off because that's a that's so I've made a mistake there so I can tap that one that's going to be the leaf but I can tap that one I think that's going to be okay I'm 
Now the one thing I've got to do now is I don't want the bucket, I now need a brush and I need to put oops I'm going to do the moon next sorry, the moon first so tap the brush oh hi button addict, welcome to Wendy's Design yes it is, <laughs> it's a lot easier <laughs> Yes, uh, this is Daydreams by Hannah Carlson um, and I scanned it in so I thought I'd play with it in um, in Coral Essentials because I've not played with this before so um, I need a little bit of a bigger bigger brush um, and remember I'm in um, kind of an oily kind of thing so and the opacity is 22% if I take that right up and again this is another good idea to play so this is solid now this is solid oil paint now um, or you can take it to 50 so you can the best thing to do is, is have a real good play and again that's just sliding it across that's pushing down exactly the same thing so I'm going to be a little bit more precise um, but if I don't like it I can get rid of it um, what I thought I might do is to do that and then and then blur it out so I thought that would look quite good um, what I'm going to do next week because I don't think I've got a chance to do it this week although we could play this week is I'm going to do some mixed media um, because I can't really do gluing and sticking in books so I thought I'd do some mixed media um, on the tablet so if I pan out we'll see if that looks very wishy-washy don't really like that but this is a play this is going to be, I'm just playing with all these tools to see what happens. So what I'm going to do is zoom in and then I'm going to take a blender. And all the blenders come up. So I'm not going to go through all of them, I'm just playing with these. And then, um, because there's lots of tutorials for people using them. So what I thought I might do, there is a palette knife. Oh, that's the palette knife I've been using. And I think I'll go with a palette knife. I just see, so we want it quite small. And I thought this would be a little bit like Alfie. Um, I might actually make that a little bit bigger. Is kind of now. I thought it was supposed to tilt and t tilt and do, but it's not. It's just blending in one direction. It's supposed to blend in lots, so we can smush it about a bit, or we can and we can get rid of that. So I'm just having a play with the moon to see what I can do. Now, I thought there was some magic. Yes, so there's colour, hose jitter, uh, distort, fairy dust. I thought the distort might look good. I saw somebody using this and I thought that would look good. It's a hairspray hurricane. We'll try this. Oops, it's a bit big as that. We'll go back down to small and we'll see what happens. Maybe it doesn't like it small. So, what we've got is kind of a green. Oops, okay, I know you don't like that. Sorry. So 
like a leaf. So again, what you could do here is do some leaves. And you've coloured the bunny in. I think they go bigger, but my laptop's a little bit shy, so that would be quite cool. So this is why we should really have a big play first. <laughs> yeah, because once you start to play, um, but this is this is a play. So I've again, I want to take those off. So I keep going back until it's all gone. Get rid of that one, and um, we'll have a look at the the hurricane one. Now that's pretty cool. Um, I think I would prefer it smaller. too small it is actually distorting the moon a bit so if you just go a little bit bigger I like that that is pretty cool for the moon So that looks quite good. Um, what else can we do with it? Let me have a look. This is the this is the best bit to play. Um, what does this one do? Oh, this is the one that if you touch it, yeah. So I mean that's quite cool. Again, I haven't played with any of them. I'll take off that moon and then we'll, we've got we've got that. Now the other thing you can do is you could draw all the way around. As long as it's a complete circle, it would fill it in. So we've got particles. So we've got oops. I don't look quite nice. Um, let me go back into here a second. There's a fairy dust. It's a fairy dust. Fairy dust. Oh, look at the fairy dust. That's pretty cool. I think we'll have to keep the fairy dust. I mean, how amazing is that for mixed media? And when you reduce it, it's quite magical. So we could definitely put that on at the end. So that looks quite cool. So I'm going to take all that off now. I'm still not sure if I like the moon, that particular colour, but I'm having a play. So let's have a look what else we've got. That was fairy dust. Um, what does that one do? I think I like the hairspray, but I think I might have to turn it down a bit. Yes, I love that. Definitely. That's cool. <laughs> hairspray. So again, you can really, really be very creative. So again, definitely going to use that, but I'm going to use that a little bit smaller. To give myself a fuzzy moon, which looks like wool. Oops. If you change the direction, you get the different color blue. Oops. Yeah, so again, you can, you can maneuver. So what it's doing is it, it's literally blending. So I could actually make the moon a fluff ball. That would be so cool.
So welcome to Bunny's Designs. As I say, we're just having a play in Coral Painter. And I really think I like that one, so we'll just have another quick play. So that's breaking it up like it's broken glass. Wow, that's a bit cool. Um, so I'm going to go with the moon. And I think I might just go a little bit, if I go a little bit bigger. So we want, if I keep the line on, oops, wrong foot. If I keep, the idea is to keep the little cursor on the inside of the moon. And if I did that, then I'd, I'd lose that bit there. But I can draw that back. In, I can draw that back back in. So I quite like that. It's, that is a fluffy moon. It's a little bit bigger, so I might have to play with that. So we go back, and again, I love the fact you can just if you don't like it, you can take it off. So I'm going to go with a smaller. But not that small. Hmm, I wonder what else we've got. that down a bit. See, if you work really big you can actually use if you if you zoom in so it's almost uncomfortable that's a distort one I didn't like that one so go back so I'm gonna go back to um hairspray so I'd like the, the spray to come out really. Oops. Just move down a little bit. So it is very well zoomed in, but that's going to give us an advantage. Um, so let's have a look at patterns. So you really could do with a good play, really. Um, it's particles. I've not seen particles. So we've got... Oh, I like that one. I think I might have a go with flow fur. Woo! That one's quite big. I'll take that down. That's quite interesting. That's like um, a strip of fur that you buy of material. So that's interesting. But I think I actually quite prefer that one. So I'm going to go for the fair, uh, the the hairspray. So who's got any questions? We all go pop them in caps. Just put the moon there because I actually want to do it in one if I can. So I'm going to tap that and oops. No, I don't. You've got to be 
quite precise, so I'm going to go for a bit bigger. And I'm basically trying to keep the moon shape. Have to find something else to play with. Um, what that one does. That's interesting. Oh, look, that's quite good. Oh, that's a bit pushed down. And that's if you're very light. Oh, they're kind of like moon. That's quite nice. Yes, I found the one I want. So we'll take all that off and um, now we've just got to decide on how we're going to do this. If you kind of do this, it goes where you want it to go. Whoops, where you want it to go. So it's not going to be easy because you're going to control it, but we'll have a go. I kind of like, oh, I like that. That's nice. I like that so I love the fact that if you make a boo-boo you can tap so it's a push down and then a release but you've got to do it Oops, kind of Be better with the paintbrush at an angle. So that I quite like that. So again, you're pushing that at an angle. So it may be a case of You definitely need to practice, but I do like that one, that's quite nice. Um, Got a bit of a curl on that one, so I might have to kind of so you definitely need the angle. So we reduce that to that size. Oh, I quite like that. That's a nice little fairy moon. <laughs> We need to go back to um, an artist brush. Oh, we actually could play with all sorts, I suppose. Um, what else have we got? We've got patterns, soft edge patterns. What I was trying to do is just do that. Oops, 
forgot to press the hand. Yeah, don't like that. So you can go through finding all sorts of things. Now there's some sponges there. So you've got a glazing sponge, gravity jitter, whoopsie, um, smeary wet sponge, <laughs> which is huge. So I've got to be careful. Oopsie, I don't know what's happening. Oops, I know what's happening. It does not like that. Okay, yes, we know it's far too big. That's quite nice. It's a, it's a, a dabbing sponge effect. So that's quite nice. But um, I might go in and have a look at the markers actually. So we had some um, pens, those pattern pens, and we had some crayons. So let's have Pencils, pens and markers. So the calligraphy pen, a cover pencil, dry ink, felt marker, fine point marker, fine point, flat wet sumi, a grain cover pencil, mechanical pencil, um, oily variable pencil, a round tip pencil, scratch board, thick and thin pencil and thick and thin marker. I think I might have a go with the felt markers. So it's a little bit big, is that? So I want to go smaller and tap the greens, and we're going to get some really nice greens on here. Just go down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. I don't like that. So we'll have a look at get rid of that first. So we've got our fluffy moon. Um the oily variable one. I want them that will blend, that's what I'm looking for. I'd like a, a marker that would blend. But again, this is a play. This is to find out what we've got on so that's quite nice. And this is the one that will blend it through. No, nope. so that's okay. Um, and then you can go a little bit lighter to put I was trying to find if we could put a blender. If we can blend these markers. So let's see if we can blend. I don't think they're going to blend. No, they're not blending. So we're going to go back. So I quite like that, but again. Have a play, see what you like. You're the boss of your colour book. <laughs> so, as I say, welcome to Bunny's Designs. I'm having a play. Um, and I found out a couple of pens for drawing and ink pens, but I want to play in colouring in. So this is all kind of mixed media and... Um, A fine point marker. I wonder what that one does. And that looks a little bit big. And then we'll put some dark in there. Um, and I wonder if we can blend. Sometimes you've got to actually hit the blending thing.
Oops, not sure what that's doing. <laughs> but it's not doing what I wanted it to do. I'll put it down to zero and see if it will blend these together. Um, whoops. We could airbrush, make that kind of smaller. Ah, that's why opacity is just that little bit too strong. I don't think I like that. It's Oh, it wasn't on fine detail. Right, let's have a go. Fine detail airbrush. It almost acts like a rather large blender did that. There's some nice effects on that. That's quite nice. Um, all sorts of things again I want to be a bit different on this I want to really really be kind of play um, I think I'm going into the, the spray let me turn that right down It's quite interesting, but a bit blurry actually, <laughs> just a little bit blurry. So I wonder if we could make this kind of like an ivy. Instead. And forget when we do things differently, everything looks kind of like that. Start at the bottom. I mean, we can't obviously do this. In reality, so we can do this. creating and um, like an ivy effect over the top so 
are coming into here kind of ivy effect so this is completely different to the way that I've worked before I normally try to do traditional colouring in but while we have this fun thing we may as well use it and then I'm going to try and print it out so again oops, sorry, I caught that caught this particular one here to call the bunny in before we do the next one so our little bun is actually sitting some trees around him um, so I think we're going to need to do a little bun we're going to cover the bunny and he's going to have to be a brown colour I think possibly so we don't want to make if you don't change him you see he's just become a leaf bunny so we need to take that back and i go for um it's a water brush somewhere i think digital water coloring and we'll have a pure watercolor brush i think and we're going to have and let's have a look this is quite nice now again we could have layers because then none of this would go anywhere it would just go on the bunny so we're going to go with a very small brush and push down it goes darker and it's lighter we don't need the light the pattern actually we just have a scene just fold that colour up I quite like the idea that I'm getting rid of the lines because I don't normally like all those dotted lines mm, it's not really what I want have that one and we'll take that one down to a small and then we'll just get rid of that get rid of all the clouds again if you don't like it you can take it all off just really like that idea that's a little bit small so we might have to go to 10 This is quite, oh, when you let go, it goes into a kind of a, a very kind of strange. Hmm, not sure if I like that. Oh, I suppose it's okay. As you can build colours up and then it's turning into a bit of a red bunny. Let's 
sometimes you keep very carefully moving the brush there's the tiniest little bit of pressure on there but not much but there is a tiny bit when you let go it blends it automatically so I actually quite like that that works really well I quite like that so we're just kind of moving there because I can draw with the top of these in. I'm going to do these in a, a very bright oil because I want some very bright uh, kind of that and this particular one here again is going to be so we've got all these things at our disposal so we might as well use them haven't we and create some interesting things that you can't possibly do so we've got our bunny with a fluffy moon and real leaves um, and he's kind of got a little brown coat on so go back in and although this is just playing This is actually quite a nice kind of a marker. So over the top once is the palest and then kind of round again. Now that's probably going to take his eye because it, it spreads out when you let go. So it's gone over the eye, but that's fine. I can leave it that. I'll sort that out. And we'll do that. Bit of a, a pink, oops, I don't know if that was the right pink to start with. A bit of a pink in the ear. Put in a bright red colour. And again, I actually quite like that because it is waving itself quite well. I need to go very down now because I just want to get into the eye. And make it bright again. So when we went on to here, we had some large, we had some large, so we'll have a look at this one. So this is um, another foliage. We have it quite large and see what it does. It's different from that's linear and this is a spray one. Right, so what I'm going to do is enlarge this and move him across. So if anybody's got any questions, pop them in caps. Um, I think I'm going to go down a little bit.
No, I don't like that. I like the other one, but I don't like that one. So we're going to have to find something else to do with those. Gonna have to find something else to do with that one. Let's have a look what this one does. That's quite nice, but again, it's like that. You can get that. I quite like that. That's a little bit more unusual. But I think I'm going to go with um, take that off. I do like the bright green. Let's see if we can do it with this one. A ribbon that's definitely a ribbon. Could get that smaller. That's pretty cool. That <laughs> I like that, that's really nice. That, but I'm not sure how I could use it because I wanted to color in. Oh, if you keep your hand on it, you get the bow. That's very clever. If you keep, so we tie, yeah, we we'll tie this. We can do. If you keep your hand on it, then in the same place, it becomes a bow. So that could be quite interesting if we're going to actually give this quite um, an unrealistic effect which is something I don't normally do um, so they're kind of a purpley maroon colour I turn it Leave it too much because it gets too big. If it was smaller than that, that would be good, but just a little bit too big for what I want it for. It's not going to get rid of it, so we're going to have to see if we can erase it. What that will do, it will erase the line the little, and all the dots. But that's not to be helped. I don't know what I've done there. So.
so you can erase it if you want um, that's fine because I can put all that in the back anyway um, we'll put that bow in there is that the bucket blue do you think oops no it isn't and I can cover that with green leaves in a minute and I'll just make that purple colour and we can tap those in and they're coloured and then what I'm going to do is go over that with the leaves I think in a minute so I need to find something to colour that in with let's have a look Again, they do come up big sizes these bushes you have to kind of put them down a bit it's got some nice olive color there so you put that opacity to low down there that will keep the lines behind so I do have to put them back in again Oops. I always got to remember to move that back again Leave that there now. And to play these in, and then when I've got this flat colour in, um, I haven't worked out. You probably can do is to keep your colours like you can in Art Rage. So I shall get. You could keep the colours, and that would be good. But I haven't figured that out yet because, as I say, I'm just having a play and to see how different it was to how I normally colour in um, so what I could do with a a darker olive there and because you've taken the opacity back it's leaving all the patterns on the tree and the leaf which is what I wanted and again I could turn this round so that it would be easier oops easier for me to to colour with and then just very carefully strokes it's really good if you've got pulley hands or if you want to colour for hours and hours and if you don't want a mess and you know they can colour it in oils, acrylics, uh, airbrush and you know, I have asthma so airbrush is impossible for me and you just um, but the best thing is if you go over and make a mistake you can just kind of Bit of a highlight on there as well. Um, you can just you can just put that. Oh, whoops, come on, come back. If you tap that one, it should take you back. I quite like that. It's got some unusual things going on. I'm just going to finish this stem that he's holding up. And then 
And if you didn't want to twist things around, you can just go up and down with this little button here. So I've got I don't like the moon, but I'm gonna I'll play with the moon in a second when I do the the stars at the end. So I'm going to do these dragonfly now. I think we're going to have some nice bright dragonfly. Um, my laptop's a bit slow today. Cover the dragonfly in. I could probably even cover it bigger actually because they'd be easier to do. Oops. Now I've gone over the line, but oh, I can't go over the line. I just have to. I think that's the smallest, I think. Just gives you that edge to keep in within that line. The smallest one is the probably the nicest one to work with. So we've got some nice bright dragonflies. So we've got more dragonflies. I think we've got everybody. So we need some toadstools next. So I'm going to go into here and look for I think I'll paint me a little. Find camel, I think, and we want a nice green. Very bright green. And if we enlarge it a little bit, we could possibly have a bit of a shadow going on there. So I quite enjoyed doing this. Um, now if you wanted to colour it, you could colour it and print it, I think. I'm not sure if you needed to save it. And then you could not save it when you got rid of it. And you'd have your page again, but you could colour it. You could scan it in quite a few times and make a copy, so you wouldn't need to do that. But if you really wanted to do that, so your laptop becomes a place where there's lots of colouring. And that will be dark. So it's not blending like the Tutankhamun one, but this is completely 
play this. This is really fast. Just having a play. Um, I really don't like that contrasting colour either. It's kind of a bit Disney, but sometimes it's nice to just create something that's not reality. And I like that with the colour books because you've got lots of different things to do. Some look oops again if you go wrong you could just press press back which again I love because I'm always going wrong. So if I take that back down now that looks kind of really kind of bright and strange but you can do that. Oh thank you. But you can do that. You can make it look really strange. Um, because it's 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 kind of a fantasy kind of pa painting it's not reality so sometimes I do actually quite like to be a little bit more creative um, I'm just going to turn this very slightly because it's a little bit uncomfortable for me so I'm going to turn that and it would go that way I don't want it to go that way I want it to go that way Let's tap down a bit and then oops don't forget to tap back onto your pen. Oops. So that green and that blue is quite, as I say, quite Disney, quite bright. Or I shouldn't say Disney because Disney's colours were perfect. I should say um, animated looks probably is a better word, isn't it? That is definitely a highlight. <laughs> oh, thank you, button edit. And so I say I'm just having a bit of a play in coral, coral essentials because again, this is a different price range. The coral painter is two hundred and ninety nine pounds, which is completely out of my price range. But this one is, I think it was about thirty or twenty some because I think it was on offer. Um, and this is Coral Paint Essential, so it has some of the aspects of it, but not all of them, um, which again, I would love, but can't really justify that. Um, but at, at least it means you can play. So it's a different software, but again, you've got your colour wheel, you've got your brushes, you've got lots of other things it can do as well. And so... Um, let me just save this. Let's put save as um, I call it a bunny page. And again, this tablet has just become a screen. This screen is is, not, is basically my tablet. This is what's happening on your laptop. But it's I'm allowed to do it with a pen, so it makes me be able to. It basically is a touch. That's what's making it do. Um, I call that the bunny page. Oh, the space bar was there. So again, if you if you can't type because your hands are poorly, you could tap. So that you, it's got a lot of potential as this, um, and it's just sliding this chunky pen over if you made the petals things bigger then you wouldn't do it as often again tap and move this across always remember to tap with your paintbrush so that gives you your green paint um, but these are real leaves when you pan back out you'll see these are real so there's lots of nice things you can do um, And I'm going to start digital art next week, uh, digital um, mixed media. So I'll be scanning in, I've got some gorgeous books, and so I'll be scanning things in and cutting and pasting, but I won't be doing it and then painting on it, but I won't be doing it in a book because um, my cutting out days are probably numbered now, <laughs> but I can definitely uh, uh, play with mixed media. 
um, and there's no reason why I can't scan in thinking about it I could scan in my doilies oh my gorgeous serviettes that I've got my napkins and doilies and I can It's a little bit darker than that, isn't it? A little bit darker than that. Uh, so I can actually do lots and lots of things that in reality I can't do anymore. So that has got to be good. Uh, I'm just going to finish this one off and give it a bit of a shadow underneath. So again, you can really think that that moon is giving this big shadow and a big highlight. So you could have made it a dull, moody kind of a moon or a really playful mood. So we've turned that um, very carefully. It wants to go all the way around. And then we'll zoom out a bit. So it looks quite playful. So we've got some oops, real leaves there. And then we've got some kind of really moonlight colours there. Yes, but, uh, Button Addict, yeah. Um, that's the other thing I was going to do as well is um, scrapbooks. Creating beautiful scrapbook pages and then inserting photographs. So that's really good. And then you've got a digital photographic so that's quite good. It makes it so much easier just tapping and moving. I mean, this is my desk space. Um, the This particular uh, one is, it's 12, I think it's 15, is it 12, 13? Yes, it's 15 across uh, by 10 inches. Um, but this particular one, you can actually have a wonderful um, um, I don't know what the word is stand but the stand it has a little button at the back and even I can do that with poorly hands and then you've got about 10 different positions that you can drop it in so you can actually have it upright or you can have it at a nice angle but for filming I have to have it almost flat it's not quite flat there is a slight tilt but it's almost flat but you can rest your arm on it and it's really comfortable and this particular one is here you get two pens and, and lots of nibs so I, I, again tight yorkshire lass was really really looking for something that i could use i like the fact it has a screen protector on it a lot of them don't so i love that actually came with it wasn't extra um so really really love this boogie um hk 1560 i think it is this one one five six zero really love this um but it, it again it doesn't have any brains as such what has happened is i can actually show you that my laptop is here and I've put the wires in this tubey thing so there's three wires that go in this particular one has three wires it sorry it has a um, electric power cable it has an HDMI and it has a USB so then at the side here it has an HDMI oops an HDMI 
and it has buttons on the side but I don't actually play with those buttons <laughs> I was using the tissue box so that I could carry on um, but I love the fact that you can do this wild stuff or you can do Alfie um, and get some really nice effects so I love the fact that it's it's one drawing thing so I would have to have all my fine paintbrushes out here and then have my fun stuff so the, and although they are I paid 350 for it I think you can get them for 250 this this smaller size it does come in a 20 inch um, and, and my daughter absolutely loved it she was playing it all night the other night um, and she she's done some she can actually draw better than I can so she's gonna really love this and again you zoom in and you can really get some gorgeous effects and so you you just like traditional oil paints you do, I did a rough sketch um, and I was actually do this one I watching DD yesterday so it was, I had a fantastic day there's nothing better than and then listening to somebody watching somebody and listening to them and uh, having a good sketch so and if I tap that across really really broad oil spit like you would traditional oils a bit of a sketch out fill in some shading and some coloring get all your colors in there get your darks get some dark around here I rebuilt that eye four times it took me all day to get to this space and um, again redid all that so I've got some nice gray underneath here so this is how it starts and then you build the colour up so it took a few hours to get to this to build it up with a not with a one percent so it's almost like having a dog hair to paint with so it's not cheating it's just doing it so much easier um, and actually I can't do this anymore I can't get pen tops off so um, it, it does make it that that little bit easier so it allows me to be to actually paint again I didn't think I'd be able to do any traditional art yes that's what I was going to say thanks um, Seth, what Nadik said you know, paint spend the same if you bought um, hundreds of pencils it's 350 pounds all your oil paints brushes so here you've got lots and lots of things you've got oils and acrylics airbrush um, so these are just these are just um, brushes but then you can play with the art so you've got all those brushes airbrush um, oopsie the photo brush is um, is, is uh, well, I call it a cheat but um, basically you can put a photograph in it and then you can do marks like this with a paintbrush and the photo will come up um, and people call that paint <laughs> Bit of a funny daddy um, but you know you can change a photograph into an oil painting by using the cloning brush so you don't really need a lot of artistic skill to, to do fine drawings you can just do that uh, and still come up with an oil painting then you've got your blenders chalks pastels crayons digital water coloring again you can work wet in wet it's too messy for me at the moment um, then we had all these these fancy little things to play with particles, patterns, pencils and markers, and sponges. So you've got a lot of things in there to play with. Um, so you can you can go in there and do a little bit of a sketch like I did yesterday, um, and then put a little bit of oil. Um, oil paint with a broad brush uh, and then finer brushes um, and then go in with a very very fine brush and, and kind of build up some detail so eventually all that would look like this it's just this is halfway through so that's kind of not quite finished but it's getting there and this is the first stage the really scruffy stage but that's how you always start you never go in with your detail you block in colour bit of background um, but now I've done one like this I'll do one from start to finish so I've got another picture of Alfie that I like 
um, I did one in Art Rage and, and I did one in Psy as well. So I'm going to go through all the different softwares you can get. Um, so there was one with Psy uh, and then I did an Alfie in Art Rage as a, as a, pra a practice. Um, but he's such a cute boy, bless him. So in a minute, I'm going to go back to Art Rage, which is on my laptop. So it's a tap away. Don't have to do anything else. And Art Rage was at, it worked out at seventy-seven pounds. But Art Rage is pretty good. Having said that, this is growing on me. Um, the problem is sometimes you open something up and there's so many things. It's too complicated. Um, whereas if I wanted to open something up and show you just using one thing, no layers, no overlaying this and overlaying that and, 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 and messing about just tap a pen tap change it uh, change it to oils tap make it a finer pencil tap make it uh, thicker and then put some more detail on it and that's basically how I like to work very simple um, this took me quite a long time this is actually painted in oils I think it's four, three foot by three foot, I think this one. Um, and I actually intend to do this now. Now I've learned that I can actually get a little bit of detail on here. I will be painting this, but these particular hairs here were painted with a dog hair. Um, I accidentally had my foot on the dog and I stood up and, and he stood up. And I caught the tail, but the hairs on his tail. So while he was sitting down, of course, it didn't hurt him. But when he stood up to move... He pulled the hairs out because I was stunning on the hairs at the end of his tail. And he's a wire terrier. So actually, it worked out quite well. So no dog was actually hurt, apart from the fact initially when he did it. But these are painted with the dog hair. And I didn't think I'd be able to do that kind of detail again. So, of course, I'm a bit obsessed by books. So I have this Victorian set of books that I will be putting on my desk and painting from um, still life but digitally to see if I can get the same kind of uh, photorealism um, so Alfie is quite this is the one I did in Psy oh, I might have done that in Art Rage it was a very quick rough play first time I've got it I turned it on and played with that um, and I think I did another one as well. But of course, Alfie's such a cute boy. Um, and again, I sketched um, in fine pen. And I didn't think I'd be able to do that. But I think I'll be able to do this again. But do it digitally, if that makes sense. Oh, hi, Terry. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. Oh, thank you, Button Addict. Apologies, I can't remember people's real name. Um, again, he's such a cute boy that you know you can get some really nice photographs. But I mean, this is how scruffy he is, bless him. <laughs> and and the other thing I'm going to do is I the reason I painted this I saw this original when I was sixteen in Lee's Art Gallery, and this is a. a the Bridesmaid by James Tiso and uh, what I'm going to do is copy his artwork digitally because you can get all these beautiful folds on the dresses and that's why I bought that gothic the other day because I wanted to get all this beautiful um, material kind of effect and I thought that would be quite good to do it on a digital thing um, so Hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit more art rather than just colouring in somebody else's. Now my daughter did that. That was her first attempt. So she's a lot better than I am. And this isn't the girl that's gone to art college. This is the girl that's gone to college to, to, to catch all these baddies that, that misbehave with, with animals. She wants to be an RSPCA um, officer. <laughs> um, that's another one that I'm going to try and paint. Now I know that I can sketch a little bit, so I'll be happy. So there's quite a few things that I can do that I'd, I was getting a bit kind of, um, not despondent, but thinking that I couldn't possibly do any more art and 
I think I can so that's quite good because I do miss all the watercolors that I've bought um, just trying to find another one but it's quite good to go from reality if you can I think that's another one that you know Alfie is such a cute boy and you have some wonderful highlights in the eyes and bless him he's cross-eyed bless his socks but again little wet nose all these wispy bits scruffy boy but that makes for a really nice painting he, and he's always a scruffy boy bless him so again once you've drawn a few times you know that these are the wiry um, hairs and yet on his nose it's all soft so he's quite a quite a quite a um, an inspiration is our little Alfie and again that's such a lovely little that almost looks like a painting in itself so um, I'm trying to find the other painting that I did of him but I can't find it I did a quick one in Outrage um, and I did one in Psy the Outrage one was um, he was hiding because he He'd hidden behind me. When we first got him, he hid behind me all evening behind me on the sofa. And all you could see was this little nose sticking out. Again, I intend to paint that one again properly when he was a little baby. He was underweight, so my neighbour had to weigh him to make sure that he was putting weight on. Um, where on earth is the elf? But he is such a cute boy, bless him. He's such an inspiration. And so in two seconds, I'm going to um, I'll stop this video. I'll just go back to our little um, bunny page. Gonna open it. Did I tap it enough? Unless it's there. No, it's not there. So, bear with me two seconds. Um. Oh, here we are. Bunny page. Open does help if you press the open button <laughs> come on laptop unless it's already opened come on laptop stop being naughty it's not opening it I don't know why I don't know why, I don't know where it is. Ah, it's down here. You've hidden, hidden it. I can't get to it. <laughs> it's hidden it. Oh, I've hidden it. Oh, let me see if I can click that. Oh, come on, stop being silly. I've lost it, you silly thing. It won't let me have it back now. Let me just see if I can. Oh, well, I did want to finish on that page, but obviously. They are down here somewhere. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll have to stop that. Thank you for watching.